You know who doesn't have a schedule? Humans. And we're all gonna die one day. Spencer, you're taking that out. No, it's fine. Hello, you scallywags. What is going on? It's the Croak and Crow podcast. Podcast. And I am Spencer Cartier, the man of the hour. I am Giulietta Marcovaldo. Come on. What is that? She's the girl from, she's, I think she's the bad girl in Luca. Have you seen the movie? No. Disney Plus. The boys turn into mermaids. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I have not seen <laughs> Can't it. Can't get more current than that. I mean, <laughs> don't accuse have me. Have you seen it? <laughs> no. And is that her actress name or voice name? Or is that her name in the show? I think it's her name in the show. I hope. Otherwise, what have I done? I can't be a real life person who's out there living. Um, <laughs> I, I, identity theft is not a joke, I know. Jim. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. I want to see the movie. I have Disney Plus. Oh. But I had to... <laughs> I don't. I have someone's password. But... Um, <laughs> I I wanted to ask around because some of these Pixar movies, I think it's nice. And then I get on there and there's <laughs> like depression. Yeah. So um, yeah, they can get a little dark. Yeah. I was asking around before I saw it, but it looks like something I would like. Well, hey, maybe after the podcast, you can pop in a Blu-ray and uh, make some popcorn. <laughs> no, Disney Plus, Luca. Well, I can go for some popcorn. I'm starving. Julieta Marcovaldo. I'm starving. Hmm, what should I eat? This here is Frank, the boy. The Frank. man, the myth, the legend, crooked shirt. Be everything. All. He's looking sleek in this. <laughs> is this a man shirt? Uh, it, that's an athletic shirt. I'm not sure. Is it a man's Wait. athletic shirt? I feel like, I, I mean, I don't know if I could fill it out the same way Frank does, but it's kind of nice. Yeah. I like the color. A little Barney, Barney vibes. Barney. Barney. Yeah, but what's going on, guys? It's it's the middle of July. It's not. It's still early it's July. Beginning. Yeah. I mean, how could we're one day off of the first week. We're one day off of the first week. It is flying by. And I don't a, like that. At a record pace. Not that I don't like it. I don't like people saying things are flying it's, by. Life is flying by. No. It's, it's fleeting. The sun has, a, has you know, a yeah. schedule and it keeps it. Exactly. And you know so what? it's not flying you by. You know who doesn't have a schedule? Humans. And we're all going to die one day. Spencer, you're taking that out. No, it's fine. But it's okay because you're going to heaven. I know. It's a spiritual podcast. It's like a Kool-Aid. Um <laughs> episode is gonna happen so why not make that deal? <laughs> no guys okay i'm listen, sorry listen today is the day we talked about last we're week. all gonna die no stop it but the, the the choice is how much are you gonna really live right yeah we talked last week about mcdonald's um rewards app yeah we on did. our loyal one of our loyalty yeah, podcasts. we don't like mcdonald's it, we do like mcdonald's not and they, when they shrunk their sizes where did i just go I rita's i went to well, their loyalty program starts oh. today, July 8th. Oh, it starts, starts today. Go get your... Wait, no, don't get... We're boycotting. We're not boycotting we McDonald's. Are. You went to Rita's. I'm feeling crazy today. I know. You're... So I boycott... It's walk, not run. I boycotted McDonald's because they shrunk all their sizes. Yes. And they raised all their prices. Even though you don't even eat or drink that much. Yeah. You know why? Because I can't afford to. That's not, that's not true. Um, They shrunk all their sizes. It's un-American. But I just went to Rita's. I'm like, hey, it's the 4th of July weekend. Let not me... everybody knows Rita's. Rita's is a Italian water ice. Is it even? Is Rita's even considered to be Italian water ice or just water ice? Originally, it was, but it was. everything's changed. Because so that is so all. Well, it's a combined word, right? Yeah. Now Ta- Italian ice. Right, Italian Italian shaved ice. Um, snow cone situation. No, I, no, 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 no. Listen, I'm telling people in other. We, there are people in Australia that watch us. There are people in the Caribbean who watch us. There are people in Europe who watch us. Well, if you're eating snow cones, then I'm trying to explain. It's it's like it's it's it used to be seasonal. It might be all year round now but it's an ice cream slash frozen icy shop yeah let's go with that um but i get their misto shake which is sort of like a blended it's water ice and the custard and so it's like makes this like drink no it's good so good and um i got the large obviously i'm a growing boy it was so small they, really? Oh, they must have cut it in half. Really? Not half. A little bit less than half. Come on. That's just water and sugar. What are they doing over there? So when, they cut it in six tenths. Yeah? Did they cut it in seven eighths? That would be That would be today. Oh, it's seven <laughs> eighths. Guys, the measurement um, used on tape measures around the world. Um, yeah, so we're boycotting. Actually, I can't boycott Rita's. I can boycott McDonald's because I can go to Chick-fil-A or Burger King. But... 
wh- where would I go first for a summer treat? I once was behind a car and uh, I probably told this. I'm going to look at the old podcast to make sure I'm not repeating. But I, um, if I did comment, I was behind a car at McDonald's mm-hmm. and this car was plastered with bumper stickers mm. everywhere. Like the windows, the gate yeah. the and the door and the um, bumper. All about vegetarianism. Oh. And um, actually veganism. Oh, but it, duh, of course. I was waiting. I'm like, it's not only like a vegan thing to do. But they were in, unless they borrowed someone's car, they were in McDonald's. Oh. oh. Yeah. Well, I think they might have a vegan option. No. no. McDonald's has no vegan option. No vegan options. Yeah, maybe a soda. Yeah, but whatever. I thought maybe they were going to get to the drive through and like throw something, you know, like on the office. Oh, uh, like throw like the office the, when they threw it through? There are like the red paint on the walls. Um, yeah, so boycott McDonald's, boycott. Stop saying that. Boycott Rita's, We boycott are a peaceful organization. We fight fire with fire. And we love freedoms. Today is also National Tell the Truth Day. And, um. So, all right, we're not actually a peaceful organization. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just got my memory jogged. Something I feel so bad for. Oh. Um, yeah, you know me, I like to. <laughs> I had this friend. It's not really, I don't feel terrible. I do feel terrible. I had this friend who won a competition in Rita's. It was a, a like a, not a lottery, but. Sweepstakes? Yeah, it was like a sweepstakes. And a Rita sweepstakes, for the whole summer, you can get as much. What uh, did you do? As many quarts of water yeah, ice as you want. Right. And she had to leave. She went home to a different state. And she's like, oh, I can give it to you. And you can. Lost the card. Oh. In like the first week. That's what you felt bad about. Yeah. That's you don't. Right. You don't win that every year. That's okay. I thought you did something worse. No. <laughs> then I killed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth Thursday. <laughs> Tell the truth Thursday. Tell the truth Thursday. Um, yeah. So whatever. Today is a... Whatever. D- whatever. I, don't, I don't care. It's stupid. It's just water ice. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> Today is July 8th, guys, and it is Thursday. And you know what we do on, on Thursdays? I'll tell you what we do. We walk through things. We walk through. <laughs> We're strong. <laughs> What's his name? Like Okay. It's walk through Thursday. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. All right, guys. It is walk through Thursday. You know what we do. Every single week, we open the Bible. Bible's open. Everyone watch out. <laughs> And what we do is we pick a verse, a line, a verse, a sentence, I don't care. And we walk through it. We slow it down. We walk through it sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word. And we walk a little walkathon action. And we ask, what does this mean? What does this one word mean? What does this mean? Actually, it's like one word Wednesday, except we, it's probably like 12 words. A specific Bible verse. Yeah. Because we talk about, we get inspiration from the Bible every day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. But this one is when we tell them where we got it from. Yes. Yeah. So we, we, we go in. We do a little uh, research, yeah. a little um, academic study, if you will. Well, we don't. We no. get it from our brain. Yeah. We, all, we make a lot of things up. Because to research is to go in and see what other people have been saying. Yeah. But scholarly journals and all that. It's too much. And what's the point? It's too much. Everyone has a different opinion. Everyone and has it, a different opinion. And it's ah! too much. Yeah. And the Bible is a living word. And so one of our beliefs here of um the bible is that everyone should look in if you if you want you should read the bible because we believe it speaks to you yeah and so if you're getting all your information from someone who that the bible is speaking to them you're living their truth yeah. and you're not so much living your truth right and when you do start to read the bible you start being like wow i th- this really applies to me in this regard right or i i'm really getting this out of this right. and that's good and that's true and that can't be argued that can't be said it's wrong that's, it's what speci- that's what special that's special uh, it's for you it's like tiktok it's a for you page and so that's what we do today and we just offer a different perspective and you watch along and you say i agree with that word actually spencer and whatever your name was today and frank juliana julietta julietta you're like and frank is giving me hawaiian vibes yeah, I can see that. that. I think it's. And a, didn't you say Hawaiian earlier? Hawaiian punch. When you were saying east and west, I think. Okay. Yeah. Ah. So today we're going to be talking about I don't know what are we to who which, I'll I'll give you paper. What, what the what the heck? What are we talking about? I'll give you paper we're on. We're still it. using paper. We're just never going to go paperless on Kirk and Crow. Okay. 
Um, oh, and you just like the waxy paper too. That's all I found. Probably killed two trees. Come what on. what kind of paper is it? I don't know. It's Did like photo print? paper. I don't know. Did you printed on. Why this? are you telling them? They wouldn't know. <laughs> they wouldn't know. It comes out really nice on this paper, though. Um, it does. I, I, I. This word is Philippians. Yeah, Philippians. Okay, I never know how to really say it. I remember this one interesting thing about Philippians, and that is when um. I can't, every single time I forget this guy's name. The funny guy from Family Feud. I don't know. The man who does. The one who died? No. Am I saying Family Feud? Yeah, he did. Oh, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey, thank you. Steve Harvey. I thought I was thinking, who's the old guy on Jeopardy? Oh, Alex Trebek. Yeah, that's what I was thinking you meant. R.I.P. Um, I also wanted to say R.I.P. about Naya Rivera, who died last july 8th 2020 um from glee the girl who was in the lake and then they think she was trying to save her four-year-old oh yeah they found yeah the four-year-old in the boat so r.i.p and god bless the both of them who are having fun in heaven but philippians um when steve harvey said the wrong name of the girl on the um of, of the contestant for the miss miss world pageant remember yeah. uh th- there's i have to apologize and, yeah, um, yeah, that was a mess. I think the Philippines won, and he said the wrong person won, and he was like, "I'm so sorry," blah blah blah. Anyway, when he wrote, when he tweeted his apology, he wrote, he he wanted to write Philippine Miss Philippines and, and Miss Philippines. I noticed that he wrote that, and I was, but I know he's a, he's a holy guy, uh, and I was like, of course his phone would autocorrect because uh, he's typed Philippians more than he's typed exactly. Philippines. That was I. Uh, that was I had such secondhand embarrassment for that because you know me. It was who's an, who gives a, a guy who gets embarrassed easily. Yeah, and I'd have to, I'd be going to Mars with Elon Musk because I'd have to get off this earth. No, it's good because whenever something like that happens, especially that was such on a big scale, all the when you make mistakes, it's not you know, misery loves company. You're like, yeah. Ugh, at yeah, least I didn't do it at the Miss Pageant. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't want to think about it. Okay. So we're in Philippians, guys. And we are looking at Philippians 4 4. Ever heard of it? I like, I like, I like the number eight. <laughs> four plus four is eight. But I like, I like um, when it matches 11, yeah. 11, or yeah. 2 2. Boom, boom. It's it's like uh, you just won the lot. The, yeah. Slot machine. Slot machine. All right. Um. So in front of us, we have the new international version, the new life version, and the new Catholic Bible. I didn't even know that was such a translation. But. We're going to read the New International Version, but it's the shortest one. That's why That's why I added the other ones, because I was like, um, did the new, did NIV, did they abbreviate it too much? But actually, I literally think it's the same exact thing in King James. That's why I didn't even write it. Oh. So that's why I added the New Catholic, because they seem to have a little footnote. And I said, maybe we can get a little bit more out Ooh, of it. Oh, a big fan of the footnotes. Yeah. I, I forget which, which version I read. Might have been... The, it was either New International Version or New American Standard Edition. Mm. Whatever it was, it had titles for everything. Like they made the titles. Right. Like, and not just the titles, like the top of the page would tell you like a general thing. And just all the footnotes. And I love me some footnotes. So this is, this is it. I'm just going to read it for you guys. No more goofing off. No more playing around. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say again, rejoice. With an exclamation point. That's an exclamation point. I'll, I'm just going to run through them. New life version. Be full of joy always because you belong to the Lord. Again, I say, be full of joy. That's nice because I was going to ask, what does rejoice mean? Yeah. But full of joy, man? Exclamation point. <laughs> new, new Catholic Bible. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. With, um, with the, with the um, title, Rejoice Without Ceasing. Yes. And um, should I just go right to the footnotes or do you want to talk about it first? If you would like to. And I know sometimes you're in the mood for reading and sometimes you are not. Not on Sundays, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, but today's Thursday. So joy is the great secret of Christians. The sign that faith has triumphed over, over all fears. The normal... <laughs> that's why I hate reading. The normal fruit of a spiritual life that progresses. The... P- 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 <laughs> the like peace... <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Steve Harvey, he said the wrong winner. So yeah. if I can't pronounce See, peace, I told you it helps. I'm not that bad. The peace of God is more profound than any kind of peace that the human spirit can attain solely by its own effort. That didn't help me anything. No? Not really. I mean, I, I think it... I, I don't know. What do you think? Well, what did it, you just read? You read that faith triumphs over fear. 
And we know that. We have a faith, faith over, over fear. fear shirt somewhere. Um, and the peace of God, the peace of God, it, they're saying that there's different types of peace. I never really thought about it like that. Mm-hmm. I just think peace is peace is peace. Piece of pizza. But um, they're saying that the peace of God is better than any other kind of peace that a human can fathom. But I don't know. But to go back to the original... Rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord always. always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Rejoice. So is it... A line so nice, you got to say it twice. Is it bossy? No. Because, <laughs> I mean, the, the, I think, think that's the thing. So, so what's the definition of rejoice? I don't know. Uh, it's right here. So you guys know, but I still don't know. But you can imagine. But you can imagine. Like, it's And so the New Life version is be full of joy. Again, I say be full of joy, which I don't think is exactly rejoice. Like I feel like rejoice is like... Cele- Letting it out. It's like celebrating a little bit. You can bit. be full of joy, but you haven't expressed yes, it. Yes, exactly. And, and so I think it, but it is joyous. It is, ha. Ah. And so this isn't saying, like, remember we talked about, um, like, uh, what does fear in God mean and stuff? Yes. Things like things like this that show it's not this fear-based love. It's like literally like you're rejoicing. Right. Like, hallelujah. Right. I think the thing saying that is a little bit rejoice. I say it on top. I say Hallelujah. I'm rejoicing. Okay, so um, I I was learning recently about when you are trying to keep your calm in a in an uncalm situation. Keep your cool. And there was little tricks, and it, and one of them was chewing gum. Mm. And and you're trying to trick your brain, you know. So yeah, I've, uh, I used to have a fear of passing out on stage, or not on stage in front of a class of like ten people. On computing. It. And I learned all the tricks. Oh, so, really? Uh, chewing gum, the science behind it is we're all we're all animals. Yeah, I don't like saying that, but you know what I mean. We're all similarly made beasts similarly. of instinct and all that, <laughs> right. With survival skills, and when you are eating, your body, your subconscious mind thinks that you're safe because you eat when you're safe. Mm-hmm. If you're in a dangerous situation, you don't eat, and that's when you right. feel your mouth get dry and stuff. Right. It's so when you're chewing gum, like when you're at a, uh, doing a presentation or you're nervous, your body hopefully is like, okay, I'm safe. Yeah, this can't be that. Not gonna, this can't be that life threatening. I'm not yeah. gonna have a, a rock hit over my head by another caveman. Right. So it's a little secret. I love those secrets, and I want to learn them all. I want to learn them all. I want to learn them all. But um, it puts me in mind because when it so it says always in all the versions, always, 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 always rejoice in the Lord. You know when to rejoice in the Lord. Oh, I just had a baby or you talked about it last week or the week before. Mm. Oh, I got what I prayed for. But always, always. So if if chewing gum is inappropriate when, um, you know, I don't know, so you're at a car accident or, so, or you've been in a car accident, you open up a fresh piece of gum. <laughs> um, no, I'm serious. Like things to make, this is unusual. Why would I be calm in this situation? Why would I rejoice? Yeah. In, in a weird situation or a sad situation or a scary situation. Mm-hmm. But this is saying always. This yeah. isn't saying rejoice rejoice when the harvest comes in. This is saying rejoice in famine. Well, this, That's what I'm reading. And I like what you're saying. This would have been great to have been brought up on the My Prayers Are Answered What Now slash Tattoos podcast. Right. Where that was my one big question. I'm like, am I wrong? Basically what I was saying in different words now that I know this word rejoice. I was like, am I wrong for rejoicing so hard? Only when I get what I want yeah. and not rejoicing when I'm not. And it's like, I think someone who said, hey, Spencer, you're a Christian man. I say, well, I think I'm still a little bit of a boy. And they say, no, you're a man. And I'm like, okay, okay. And they say. I forgot re- when your stories go on and on. <laughs> and they look at me and they say, rejoice always. 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 And then, always, always, always. And then I start to talk and I'm like, yeah, but. And it's like, again, I will say. Rejoice always. You got to say it twice. Like hammer, the, hammer um, home. Like the uh, we're, we're like throwback Thursday people. All we keep talking about is the previous is the past. shows. The past is all we know. But um, the, future the, is the office meme with Stanley. You just had it this um, past Sunday. Yes, yes. I, think says, I have it every week. Did I stutter? You yeah. know, because it's a different thing, but same thing. Yes. What if, should I rejoice? Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's leaving no room for interpretation or for no, misinterpretation. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Like, what an interesting way to write a Bible verse. Yeah. <laughs> repeating and saying that you're repeating. Yeah. So now I ask you this, which was sort of my question 
in that last podcast what is it really we can say be full of joy but what like what does it look like when someone's like i want to rejoice in the lord always but i obviously can't be jumping up and down with a smile on my face always what does rejoicing in the lord look like well um that's why like the new life version and when we're talking about new life and new international new catholic and king james we're talking about translations translations it's a translation station and translation bibles translations of the bible so it's the same Bible, different translations. And if you go to a Bible study or a group. It's not always the same Bible. There's extra books, less books, and different yeah. ones. Yeah. Um, but say you're working on Philippians um, 4 4 and everybody has it. Um, I don't know if they do, but I'm just saying. Yeah, they do. And you're in a Bible study or conversation, it helps that you both are on the same translation. Yeah. But I like the um, New Life version of this because it has the extra um, five words. You be, be, oh, six words. Because, you, because belong. you belong to the Lord. Because you rejoice in the Lord always. But the New Life Version says, because you belong to the Lord. Yeah. So you just asked what would it look like to rejoice in the Lord. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I, funny, I was just thinking this today before I knew about this, um, this verse. To know that you belong to the Lord. What would it look like? It would look like a chill person. Because mm. what can touch you? Yeah. What can stress you? Yeah. What can squeeze you? Squeeze you? <laughs> squeeze me? <laughs> <laughs> squeeze. Like um, people feel squeezed by taxes yeah. or by yeah, yeah, rent yeah, or by yeah. uh, responsibilities. Um, yeah, I'm financially fill- squeezed right now. Yeah, filling up a calendar. Um, so what would I feel rejoice what was to say rejoice in the lord or be full of joy yeah. um, and what does it look like even though it's rejoicing it's exciting it's yeah <laughs> i also <laughs> think, shoot out of the frame <laughs> i also think that it's calm it's chill i'm, I'm, chill I'm good I, what, what do i have to worry about yeah i am i belong to the lord yeah and i think with that let's use new life still um all be full of joy always because you belong to the lord that extra five words has me thinking of gratitude where rejoice isn't so much or like i said i mean rejoice you're not jumping up and down Mm -hmm. all the time but what i was saying when i was talking about when should i be rejoicing if it's that constant like thank you like thank you for giving me air in my lungs right right you're you're constantly rejoice you're you're yeah being full of joy like my life is so great even when you are going through problems to always be like thank you for the things that you that you do for me thank you for being with me taking me on a path giving me strength even if my life's not easy thank you for letting me wake up every day so yes definitely see a little gratitude in this rejoicing and i think it has something to do with sharing because when people rejoice in other things um i had some friends who were uh, they worked in a casino and the devil's playground, some would say. <laughs> some would say. But when someone wins, everyone's part of it. Yeah. Because the person's rejoicing. Yeah. And so it's just contagious and, and they're yeah. so happy that they won and it, it spreads because they're sharing yeah. uh, what they're feeling. Not to bring up the same Bible verse I bring up every day because it's my favorite, but David dancing. Yes. That's like literally the definition of rejoicing. Right. And he was rejoicing and everyone was like, Oh my we're dancing with David. Like, right. yeah, we don't I don't even know what's what's happening right now. <laughs> right. Everyone except for his wife, who was judging him, but don't worry, he left her soon thereafter. Um, yeah, like flash mobs I don't think they happen anymore. The dance <laughs> that mobs. was a weird twenty sixteen thing. It was, it? right? But if you ever see you ever see like on YouTube and you'll see them uh, the flash mob, but then you'll see people who aren't in it have never practiced yeah. and they're just like <laughs> in the background, you know yeah because it's contagious yeah um yeah and don't tear people's rejoicing down let people rejoice yes don't be david's first wife what was her name sarah i don't know i don't know what her name was you think you would know by now uh, um but yeah like rejoicing is contagious always be grateful and thankful yeah i can see celebrate where, it i can see where you're getting the grateful part because if it says be full of joy always mm-hmm. well how would I be full of joy? Sure, I want to be full of joy. Yeah, yeah. Where am I going? The gas station? Like, how am I going to get filled up with joy? <laughs> well, you know, like a, a, jo- filling, a filling station. A filling station. 
<laughs> yeah, the joy station. Yeah, unleaded. Um, unleaded joy. You're saying that being grateful creates the joy within you, so it, yes. re- it refills you. Yes, I have a uh, motto which I coined. Okay, it's not a motto because the motto is short, right? This is sort of to explain it. It's a thought. It's that two people can live the exact same day, mm-hmm. like all the good things and all the bad things. The one person is saying this is going to be the best day ever. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, they're going to believe it was the best day ever because right. all of the great things are going to stand out. Yeah. And the person said this is going to be the worst day ever. It was going to be their worst day. Yes. And it's about where you put your mindset. That's true. And so th- what you were just saying of that's where the joy comes is that gratefulness. So you can either go to the gas station and say, that's 20 more dollars out of my pocket. Or you can be there and it's like, um, you know, that you can be thanking God for giving you a life where you can afford a car, where you right. can afford gas, where you can travel. Like only what five percent of human existence was able to travel. Less than that, right? One percent. Um, and so two people will have left the gas station in two very different ways. Right. And that is what rejoice. And that person, you're not jumping up and down, being like. I got gas. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. But just that silent little nice. Right. So that's rejoicing always. Yes. And the fact that it's repeated, which I think it's kind of funny, like I said earlier, you know. Yeah, because like, you're, you're <laughs> thinking of it being red and it sounds normal being red. Right. Like, man, someone writing, it's like, okay. I wrote this. Rejoice yeah. uh, in the That's Lord That's good. Always. Excellent. Yeah, exclamation point. I will say it again. Yeah. It's like you're, you're writing it. What do you got? Right. But it tells me, and I, and I like when these things happen. Oh, yeah. It's not coincidental. That right. It's that toys. I like, I like it because as a human, as a doubting, I'm a, a little doubting Thomas, doubting Thomasina. Um, and I always think, you know, like we talk about, oh, why, you know, if, if I was out there on the boat, on the lake with Jesus and Jesus like walk across the water, yeah. I'd be like, you know, be str- skip it. Moonwalk. And no, you wouldn't. We're human. And these stories are told because it's like a comfort through the ages. Mm -hmm. So this being written, I know they're not going to remember or do this. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. For those people who are glazed eyes (laughs) over the Bible. Yeah. I like it because it's like, oh, they needed to be told more than once too. And I need to be told more than once. In a way, um, who wrote Philippians? Actually, it might be a letter from St. Paul to the Philippians. Oh, that's what, exactly what it is. Yeah. So it's Paul. Um, a lot of, yeah, I mean, it could be for yourself. Like a, a lot yeah. of it is a constant reminder to yourself. Right. Like, ah, I will rejoice in the Lord always. It's like, no, I will rejoice in the Lord always. Yeah. Like double and down. And I could see St. Paul saying that because yeah. he didn't always, from from an outsider's perspective, he it didn't seem like he always had a reason to rejoice. He had, a, yeah. you know, it's like yeah, doors shut on him and yeah. people changing phone numbers. <laughs> phone numbers, <laughs> they're rock numbers. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I think that's it. I think we we learned all about we, we. Yeah, we don't always have to have a paragraph. Um, people want to to they they watch this on their lunch break and they want to go back and be like, what was Philippians four four? Yeah, now you know. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Rejoice in the Lord always. Now you know Philippians 4.4. 4. It's easy to remember. Yeah. 4.4. 4. It's nice to have those in your verse. pocket. And... Yeah. Someone says, what's your favorite Bible verse? Oh. Quick. You're like, oh, Philippians 4.4. 4. Yeah. They're like, yeah. <laughs> what does it say? And you're like, huh. rejoice in the Lord always. And then they're like, is that it? And you're like, I'll say it again. <laughs> rejoice in the Lord always. <laughs> it works on different levels. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, that has been Walk Through, through Thursday. Thursday. We did it. We walked through it. Did a little jog in the beginning, but we slowed it down to a nice little brisk walk. Yeah. Um, let us know what you think down below. Do you like this verse? Do you say, I don't like this at all? I don't even know what rejoice means. Um, and for the people that um, I, I see you've been here for quite some time, subscribe. Oh, wait. <laughs> you just watched 30 minutes of us and you didn't subscribe? Subscribe. Uh, that's not really rejoicing, is it? <laughs> um, we'll be back tomorrow for a... F fr- an effing Friday. <laughs> fun. <laughs> fun Friday. I go with fun. Frank Friday. Fill Frank's in the blank Friday. Here. It's gonna be good. It's the first Friday that is in July second week. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> see you then. Uh, like, subscribe, and share, and go rejoice. Honestly, go rejoice because you belong to the Lord. Pa 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 peace.